Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Elena. Привет! I'm your Russian-American makeup and beauty addict. I usually do reviews and tutorials of affordable and expensive makeup from Walmart, drugstore, dollar store, Aliexpress, you name it. I'll test in my face, I'll pass the savings to you guys. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing a full face, almost full face, of iMagic. I got this box, beautiful PR box from My Magic. So we're gonna be looking into this at the brand and reviewing each product and seeing what works and how it works. So if you guys are interested, then keep on watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video I upload. I upload three times a week on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays at 9 a.m. Pacific time and also go live almost every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. So like, subscribe, comment, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter. The links are down in the description box, along with my Patreon group. So let's get right into this review. So I got this email from iMagic Cosmetics. So first of all, huge thank you for the team from iMagic Cosmetics. I really appreciate guys. Uh, appreciate you working with me and send me this beautiful box. I'm very excited to make this video. Obviously, I have makeup on, but yes, I received a whole bunch of stuff from them. So they offered me a few items, uh, one of each, uh, meaning they offered me different options for the palette, different options for the foundation, uh, concealer. Actual foundation, I asked myself. They said, if you want something extra, I'll send it to you. I'm like, well, I want foundation. So thank you, Spencer. This and me foundation as well. So I've got five items to test. So I got the brow gel, I've got the foundation, I've got the concealer, I've got the contour palette and the face, the eye palette. So iMagic Cosmetics, they have their own website. They have a full range of products. So when you look for shopping products, they have lips, they have eyes, they have face, body, brushes, tools, pretty much everything at very, very competitive prices. So the palette that I chose, here's my box, <laughs> here's my box. So the palette that I chose is this one. You're gonna see it later. It's called Chalice. And this one is 22 bucks. It has 36 shades of beautiful pigmented pots, shimmers, foil eyeshadows, shadows, you name it. I have it on my eyelids. I mean, I'm living my moment. You can tell I'm like living my butterfly parakeet life. <laughs> right up my alley. So I chose the full rainbow palette just to test, you know, to see what they got. So I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial here, so you'll see. I got the foundation, which I kind of asked for it myself. It's a full coverage foundation, natural, natural and flawless. So this one is 11 bucks, it's full ounce. I got concealer, a magic uh, concealer and corrector in the color of Warm Ivory. This one is Soft Honey. So this one is five bucks. And I've got the Contour Palette Sculpting Kits. It's a highlighter and sculpting. Uh, this was, I believe it was 11, I think it's $11. In future video, in, in, uh, later in the video, I'm gonna tell what it is, each item is. And I've got this eyebrow gel, I think it was five bucks too. So eyebrow pomade. So this came actually in the box with a little tiny brush that's foldable. It's really cute. It fits right into this little box. So the brush, the spoolie, and the angle brush. It's kind of a great idea to pack it in all in one box. So yeah. So everything that I have here in front of me, I'm gonna be using in the video. I'm gonna tell, be telling you how I'm using it and what I'm doing. So you're gonna be able to see how it works. So first of all, the swatches. So as you can see somewhere here, where I'm gonna stick it into, but I'm all gonna stick this swatch somewhere. I took swatches like this on my phone because it's just easier to see than showing you this way. Uh, so I made swatches of all squares, square by square, the green, the blue on this side, and the red and the purple on the other side. As you can see, the foiled eyeshadow, especially the green and pink, the ones I have in my eyelids, they're so incredibly pigmented and uh, 
intense and foil they come out great the only thing I, I put a disclaimer I did use a little concealer on my skin so the swatches come out not as dry because every time I use dry skin it just it just doesn't work so it's true to what you're gonna see in the eyelid pretty much because you use primer right so that makes sense so as you can see from the swatches I mean amazing except like maybe the white matte was not that white pigmented that's like doesn't really pop white but that's not like the eyeshadow usually look for I love that it has white I love that it has black those are the two shades that help a lot black makes a depth gives you depth in the outer corner and white can blend out any eyeshadow if you need something lighter and you can't quite get it add white Bam, you got it. So yeah, I'm very happy with this. Really, really happy with this. And like my friends, I asked my patrons actually to pick a palette for me out of all the palettes they offered me. You girls probably remember, I put this in my Patreon chat and the girls said, use this one. Pretty much majority of the girls chose this one. And I'm like, yes, it's rainbow. It's parakeet friendly. I'm self-proclaimed parakeet. I love color. I love rainbow palettes. And we got my typical rainbow look, which I live for. I'm glad I picked this because it did deliver. When you guys say that it reminds you of Nikki tutorial, like things, like the open, that's about as far as comparison goes. This is more like a, it reminds you of Huda Beauty, you know, the nine pan shadows. That's about the only comparison I can make, but this kind of thing, I think this palette came before Nikki Tutorial's palette came out. Just saying. Who's copying who? Beauty by Nikki Tutorials. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, I'm pretty sure this was on before Nikki came up with hers. So don't tell me that they copied Nikki. They didn't do it. So let's get right into this tutorial and I'll give you my final thoughts at the end and we'll go over this look and how it did it. Let's get into it. So first thing we're going to test is this Eye Magic Gel, Brow Gel. So it says Eye Magic Tinted Eyebrow Pomade. And it comes in six colors. So I chose, because they offer me choice of course, I chose the medium brown. And I could have probably gone with a lighter one, but you know, when you pick someone online, it's literally impossible. So it looks like this. And it comes in a little brush, because it comes in a small box, the brush is folded inside. And look how cute that is. You open it up, and bam. You got spoolie on one side, and you got an uh, angled brush on the other side. So it says it's waterproof and it doesn't budge. So I'm going to tell you right away, I did the other brow, and it dried into nothing. I'm actually amazed because the quality is actually very kind of um, soft. You know, you see I dug in there already. And you can see when I put a brush there, it kind of makes it dense. So it's really, really soft and creamy. So I was like, oh, is this going to dry? And it did. So what I did here, I uh, concealed the rest of my eyebrow tattoo. I do not have, almost don't have any eyebrow hairs. I have permanent makeup, so for me it's not the ideal product. I would say this is best for somebody with eyebrows. You know, you can use a spoolie, you can feel them in, but for me, I did manage, but I think it's gonna work better with somebody with eyebrows. But I'm gonna try to make them, kind of makes them a little blocky, but again, that's because I don't have any hairs. And I have that too. What we can make it do, and I'll show you what I did on the other eye to make it a little less blocky. Now I create this, created this very uh, blocky eyebrow because again, I can't control it over my tattoo. So I'm gonna take a small brush, angle brush, I'm gonna go into the eyeshadow palette that we review next. I'm gonna go into this brown shade right here. I'm going to, it's a lighter shade, so I'm gonna create a little strokes with the lighter shade. It's not going to be very visible, but it's going to break up this darkness a little bit. So the eyebrow is on, and I did it a little better now, but it's still a little bulky, but I would say 
The eyebrow gel is a real good product, but I would say it's better to use a skinnier brush than the one it comes with if you have no eyebrow hair like me. So you can actually draw the hairs. Or if you have eyebrow hair actually, you can actually use this and use a spoolie. So it's gonna work a little better, but I made it work. And it is a good product because it dries and there is nothing there, so it works. It does say it's a... Uh, uh, it says that it's ideal for oily skin and in humid climates and I think they might be right because It does dry. Yeah, so this is a good product actually So now I'm going to do the eyeshadow and of course my favorite part and we're reviewing this beautiful palette That's called uh, Chalice 36 color eyeshadow palette. That is $22 and It looks like this very beautiful, actually. I like the texture. It's like it has like a little bit of something, like almost like a fabric kind of texture. It's interesting. A little green in the back. Yeah, it's kind of a fairy tale almost picture. Real pretty. And there you go. It has two mirrors actually, and either of the mirrors have a little sticker. So we're gonna do the little ASMR moment. If I can actually get it off, it would be nice. Yes, this was very satisfying. Let's do the other one. So each shade does have names. So I'm not sure if I have enough uh, patience to read them all. There you go. And what I like about this, when I look at this closer, what do I always be ITCH about? <laughs> Every single palette. It doesn't have a black. It doesn't have a white. Well, somebody is listening to me. It has a white. And it has a black. Yes! Yes, I magic. That's how you do a palette. It has both colors. Where are we going to exactly right now? So as you can see, I started with application. I didn't finish the eyelashes yet. I'm gonna do it after base. But we're gonna do the eyeshadow. So as a base, I use something inexpensive. I bought from AliExpress. That's Louise dupe in white. So it's already on my eye. So I'm going to start with black, because the black is the good test if it's going to be pigmented or not. So I'm going to use small brush from e.l.f. J Kissa, J4. It has a little firm head, so it can really, really pack the color. And we're going to go for black. What's the name for black? I'm not 100% sure. I think it's called Inspire, but don't take my word for it. Let's not read the names anymore because I'm going to F it up anyway. So let's do this. So immediately as I press it in, it doesn't look like the black is black, you know what I mean? Like the black, 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 black. <laughs> I don't know how many times this can say black. But it does come off pigmented. So I'm gonna drag it down. Of course I went with a rainbow because I wanna use all of the shades and smoosh them all over my eyeballs. Yes, Teresa, I said smoosh. If you ever watch this video, I put a uh, chartreuse green just for you. My friend Teresa loves chartreuse green. Kind of rubs off on me too, that chartreuse green. Oh, girl. Wait until you see it. So I blend it out just a little bit. So now with the same brush, I'm gonna dunk it in red, this one. So I'm just applying red right over the black, like right over it. So now I'm going to take another brush and I'm going to go straight into red. And this is a Unmore brush from AliExpress, Eye Crease Brush 8. So it's still a little fluffy, but it's still firm enough to pack the color. So I'm going to go straight with the red and I'm going to go 50% on and 50% off. And go into circle emotions. Yeah. As you can see, the blend is really easy. You know, it's always a telltale, telltale sign. If the black blends, it blends really nicely with the red. So now I'm gonna go get with another brush and I'm gonna go to orange. I want to create this fiery side on this side and cool tone on the inside. So. I'm going to go into this and this. 
two oranges. I'm usually not into orange. The shades here, they're so pretty. And most likely I'm not gonna match the other eye immediately, so probably have to blend it off camera. You know what happens, one eyeball doesn't match the other. So now I'm going to this other orange. Look at that orange. Look at the pigmentation though. The pigmentation is amazing. So I'm just creating this. Pulled out my favorite shape. I'm gonna go into this mustard yellow color. Now we're going with another Aliexpress brush and this is our more tapered blending brush 6. It's a little wider and a little fluffier. It's good for outside corner. I'm gonna go for this brightest yellow immediately. That yellow, you gotta see it. Look at this pigmentation. Just look at that. Bam. That is a yellow. I'm telling you guys, all of your expensive palettes are not that much better for bu than budget palettes from uh, other sellers. Wow. The yellow is phenomenal, phenomenal. I just have to blend it with orange and we're gonna be on the next step now. Okay, to blend out this uh, area next to the eyebrow, I'm gonna go into this lighter shade, kind of a almost a neutral-ish shade here, and mix it with a little bit of this pinkish shade. Just kind of tap in between both and then go here. All the colors kind of blend together so easy, so it's almost, you know how you say no effort blending from expensive brands? Well, that's, you know, on par with some expensive brands that you have no effort blending. So I'm using the small brush, like a medium small. This is from uh, Glamour Dolls 10, and that's from, from the time I used uh, uh, Ipsy bags actually. It's a good size, kind of the same size as the other brushes, so I'm gonna go into the purples. But between this shade and this shade. So first this, because this one is closer in tonality to red, and this one's closer to blue. And because the last shade is blue, we're gonna go from warm purple to cold purple. And I'm not even cleaning the brush. I'm just pressing the eyeshadow in, and then I'm gonna press with the same brush immediately, the color purple. So I'm using that another, using the Unmore brush, and this is Large Shader Brush 1. It's enough fluffy enough to blend things. I'm using this lavender shade. Again, you'll see how easily it blends stuff. So now I'm using yet another inexpensive Elf J Kisser brush, J1. And this one is kind of more narrow, and it's good to line this small area over here where this brush can fit in and really deposit. So I'm gonna go with two blues, the dark and the light here. So the dark matte blue, I'm gonna make a line here first, kind of blend it out a little bit. So I'm taking the lighter blue color now with the same brush first. And now I'm gonna take a bigger, fluffier brush and just blend it here. So most likely when I do the base, I usually do concealer, so I kind of remove some of the darkness and end up blending after they do the base, because I don't like too much darkness here in my inner corner. So I cut the crease with the same white base. Uh, first I wiped it clean with my cell water, you know, the drill, and I cut some uh, grease, so really dramatic this time, because I want this to be really Dramatic. So I'm taking a small brush. Let's highlight the brow bone first. This is just a small angle brush. Any brush small will do. I'm going to go for the lighter shade, of course, because we're gonna be lit for the guts. So this one. It's a shimmery, like almost white shade, I would say. With a little bit of kind of a golden glow to it. Really nice. Okay, so let's apply now the shimmery reflective shades. And I think I picked probably the two the most reflective, although a lot of them are reflective. But the ones that stood out to me are the green chartreuse. And of course, I had to do it for me and my friend Teresa. 
and for the pink one. They're both extremely, extremely reflective. So I'm gonna go start with the green. And you can take any flat brush. I'm taking and more medium shader brush too. So one side is green, the other side is pink. Very easy. So taking it into the inner corner and look at the payoff. The payoff is incredible. Look at that. Ah! I can't help myself. This palette is special, guys. It's very special. And I'm going to flip it and use the pink. As you can see, the mattes, there is a little bit of fallout, but not a lot. The mattes are very soft and creamy, not too powdery, which I like. Like some of the more expensive palettes are uh, sometimes very, very powdery. You know who you are, expensive brands. <laughs> I have to be shady a little bit. But anyway, these do not have any powderiness to them. Using the first small brush, I'm going to dip it into a bright red. And we're just going to blend everything here. And then we're going to use the same brush and use a little bit of orange. Like these two colors, so I'm going to tap between this and this. So what I did off camera, I put a little bit of a waterline liner. I used LA Girl Shockwave. The green one that's called Gotcha. And I used another LA Girl liner, the blue one, actually this one. So a darker paradise purple. Can barely read this thing. All right, so let's do the low lash line. I put uh, the same white base under. So we have the sticky base to stick to, and we're going to blow it up. I mean, of course, I'm going to clean this later, but for now, I want to really make it pop. So going for the dark green and the light green, the lime chartreuse. So dark one first, and then lime green right on top of that. So for the blue, I'm gonna go into this lighter blue first. Just any small flat brush will do, by the way. This is just some of the brushes I have from Spectrum. And now for the darker blue, add a little bit of that. So I finished the eyes off camera. I used an expensive uh, Revolution mascara. And I used eyelashes from Ardell. That's faux mink lashes 3D. So they're very light, so you can see the full makeup. I kind of chose something not too big so you can actually see the eyeshadow. So let's move on to the foundation. I'm very excited about this. They sent me a little uh, sponge to go with it and it seems like it's one of those very soft kind of microfibery but not quite. It's very very soft. It has this velvet touch. It says magic on it. So I'm going to wet this and now we got the foundation. So I chose the full coverage foundation. It says Nat Nature and Flawless Eye Magic Professional Cosmetics. So looks like this frosted bottle looks nice. It's one fluid ounce. The, the regular size has a little pump, which is nice. And I chose Soft Honey as a color because they only have like I think six colors. Yeah, the range is not the best, but I mean. A lot of brands are like that. I would say they need to expand the range to include others, but that's what it looks like. It's one, two, three, five, five. And I chose the darkest color because I have self tan. And they also have a few more foundations. They have a little more range, like some of them have uh, one, two, three, six, five. So this is like 11, I think. And one of them has about six or something so you know they, they run in different ranges but and they also have 12 colors foundation green palette and that palette has deeper shade in it I'm not sure how it differs it looks like a paint palette but it does have deep shade but other than that unfortunately there's no depth in the shade range so I'm using my soft honey color and let's hope it matches me so I wet the sponge, squeezed it out, so let's see, the moment of truth. Yep, pump works perfectly. Doesn't smell like anything, which is a good thing, I guess. So it looks like this. Looks like it could be my color. Just maybe a little light. Yeah, that 
it's not a bad match. The sponge is nice, very soft. The foundation literally has no scent to it, which is a good thing for most people. I like scents, but most people don't like scents. So that's not a bad thing. It applies easily. It looks like it's full coverage. Like a medium full, I would say. It does look nice. It does look like it has a glow to it. So that's a foundation applied. I think it's a good medium to full coverage, I would say. It's really nice. It's still a little bit glowy. So it's not matte, which is a good thing if you don't like matte foundations. Uh, it provides great coverage. And again, this is soft honey and matches me pretty perfectly, I would say. So yeah, I'm not mad about it. Very nice. So let's try the concealer. So the foundation was $11. The concealer is 5 bucks. It says concealer corrector. And let's see the shade range. Well, it comes in six shades. It's kind of a very similar to foundation. The 10 shade is kind of a bit dark-ish. I could see some people with deeper skin tones getting away with the concealer rather than foundation. So the foundation range can be expanded, but the concealer isn't terrible, I'd say. But I think it could be expanded as well. So description, full concealer. It means full coverage. It has natural and easy to apply, brighten, moisturize, and long lasting. Gives you flawless skin. I mean, who wouldn't want flawless skin? It says covers a facial flaws, uh, scars, freckles, and so on. So let's try this. Open this up. I got it in the color warm ivory. I think it was a. Let's see, warm ivory was like a third from a lightest I think. It looks pretty light. Well, I like bright under eyes. So the applicator is a regular doe foot applicator. It got seven milliliters, which is 0.25 ounces. There's a slight smell, but kind of pleasant. It seems very, very fluid. It doesn't feel dry. For now, it doesn't feel dry, so we'll see. The color is nice. It's, I think it's going to be nice for brightening. The Trixie Mattel style. Well, I'm going to blend it. Trixie never blends her nose. Shade. And a little here. Oh, what the heck. Might as well, right? And we shall see. I'm going to put a little more where the darkness is here. And then I'll try to use the corner of the sponge and we'll see if I can get in there. Yeah, I see coverage. Definitely has coverage. It blends easy. It doesn't dry immediately, which is a good thing. Because some of the full coverage matte concealers, they dry so quickly. So sometimes your under eyes look like the desert. So that's the concealer, unset. I need to set this before it freezes, but I mean, the coverage is there. Very easy to blend. So far, I'm so impressed with this brand. Very affordable, $5. Really nice. I would say it's like a medium to full coverage, just like the foundation. Blends easy, very um, fluid, and not too dry at all. Kind of reminds me a little bit of an e.l.f. hydrating concealer. I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's real nice. So let me set my face and we have one more product to test. The contour palette. So I put some gold and green eyeshadow in my inner corner and I finished up the inner corner. And now I'm all shiny. I'm really living for this look right now. This is such a great palette, guys. Such a great palette. Uh, so now I'm going for the contour palette. It looks like this. So uh, there are two versions of it. One is warm gold and another one I'm going to show the picture. So that's what chocolate beige looks like. It looks like the highlight is light and it's matte and this one is shimmery. So I like everything shimmery. So of course I want to be shiny AF. So this is a very large palette guys. It comes with a mirror and it has the highlight and the contour. The highlight is very golden. Very pretty. The contour is real cool toned. 
I think it's gonna work for me real well. So the palette is $12. And for the size, I think it's a good thing. So there is a, how much product do we have here? Let's see. Uh, 0.76 ounces, so 22.8 grams. It's a good size. So I'm gonna use a small brush to start the blend, to the blend for the contour. It's a spectrum brush. Yeah, it's a real nice cool tone. If you're looking for cool tone powder contour, this would be it. So I put a little bronzer over the contour. It, it is a little cool, but it creates this natural shadow. That's the point of contour, right? So I'm just gonna do blush with that shadow because why not? We're using all of this makeup today. So I'm gonna try to use this mustardy shade in this orange shade because I'm feeling these warm tones like around the corner of my eyes. I kind of want to bring them together. So we shall see. Yeah, it definitely works well. See, that looks real pretty. Let me do the other side and I'll be back to test the highlight. Okay, let's try the highlighter side. I set my face with some setting spray from Morphe and we're ready to go. I got some really bright blush out of that orange shade. I wrapped it around my eye to create this really pop look. Hmm, I'm feeling this. So let's go for this golden beautiful shade with my highlighter brush. Oh, that is shiny. And then definitely is good shade for me, for my skin tone. It's light, but it doesn't give me a cast. It's just the right shade of gold, not too dark, not too light. I think it will look good in medium light skin tones. It might be a little too dark for the fair, but it might work out too. It's one of those shades that kind of like it looks good on many, I think. So here's my finished look. I use Maybelline uh, liquid lipstick in the color Loyalist. This is a real nice pale color, good for pretty much any look. And I use the lip liner Milani All Natural 04. I'm really living for the eyeshadow look. The eyeshadow quality is outstanding, guys. Real, real nice. The highlighter is beaming. So that's it, I used all of the products. So let's go over the products and see what we think. So the first thing I used, the eyebrow gel. Uh, this was a nice product. A really, really nice that it's not transfer. Uh, it's transfer proof, I guess you call it. It's real set, it's not budget. I bet if I was teaching my exercise classes when we're back from the pandemic, it's not gonna budge at all. I just have to use thinner brush and just use more brush strokes and create something on my bare skin. But if you have eyebrows, this is gonna be genius. Highly recommend, amazing. So this is a great, great find. The eyeshadow palette, oh my God, you guys, look at this. First of all, the packaging. I am not the one to buy something for the packaging, but first of all, of course, it was a PR box, but it is so, so beautiful. Of course, when you look at it, it's your basic rainbow palette, but it's very well done, very well done. The shimmers are st outstanding, shiny. I'm looking at myself, I cannot get enough of this look. This palette really delivers. Everything is the way it's supposed to work. The mattes are really pigmented, the fallout is minimal, they're not dry, they're very creamy. Uh, the foiled eyeshadow, really, really reflective. It's pretty much whatever you expect from a palette, it'll do that. I love that it has a black, I love that it has a white and black. That's my own pet peeve. If the eyeshadow palette doesn't have a black and white, I'm like, ah, really? So, <laughs> that's pretty awesome palette. Highly recommend. For $22, I mean, come on, really? You can't go wrong. Uh, 36 shades, by the way. So the foundation is really nice. It still looks great and it's been like an hour. I've been kind of playing with stuff. So my skin looks pretty much flawless. I would say it's almost full coverage, like a medium full. Um, I wish there was a bigger shade range, but you know, let's uh, give them benefit of a doubt that they don't prove because the formula is amazing. So it only needs more shades. The concealer, 
Amazing, they're really, really good. Very inexpensive. For five dollars, you get all you need from a concealer. A foundation, eleven bucks too. Great deal. Um, and the last, but not the least, the professional eye magic professional cosmetics sculpting kit. Really nice stuff. I think this is probably the coolest sculpting shade at home. Like when you just put it, it gives you a really, really natural shadow. I would say use bronzer on top of it as I did, because otherwise, it's, I mean, you have to blend the bronzer, because otherwise you can have this dark shade and the bronzer shade. So it's just, you know, simple blending. But the highlighter, I mean, the stuff is pretty phenomenal. Yeah. So yeah, highly recommend this too. The size, I mean, it's almost as big as my head. It's crazy. Everything has a mirror. The palette has two mirrors. This has a mirror. Everything has a mirror. I mean, for the price point, they really, really did a great job. It beautifully made. Everything is spectacular. I'm really, really impressed. This is my first time trying Eye Magic brand, except for their oil paints. I do have oil paints from Eye Magic that I bought from Amazon myself. This looks like this. And I've used it all my all my Halloween looks. And this stuff works real well. It's extreme coverage and everything, the pigmentation. That's where I remember eye magic from because I have one item. So when I was offered uh when I was offered this opportunity to review items, I was like, yes, eye magic. It's amazing. I heard great things about them. So thank you for the team at Eye Magic Cosmetics. I really appreciate you guys. You send me amazing items. Thank you so much for working with me. I approve this makeup. I wouldn't tell you guys otherwise. If I didn't like something, I would tell you so. Like the foundation range is not great, but the quality is. So I'll tell you how it is. And you see how it performs. So pretty much the proof is in the pudding. So this is it. That's the end of the video. I rate this 5 out of 5. If you rate it 1 through 5, every item is freaking amazing. I love it. Five out of five. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Please do subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And also go live almost every Monday at 11 a.m. Pacific time. Don't forget to ring the notification bell so YouTube notifies you of every new video upload. So huge thank you for all my patrons on my Patreon group. You guys are awesome. I love you all. We have a Facebook group, we have WhatsApp chat, we have Telegram, all of those things. So if you guys are interested to join, uh, the link to my Patreon group is in the description box as well. So follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the links are all down there. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!